So in the last video, we did not cover how to disable your assert. We'll do that in this video. Now I could tell you in less than 20 seconds, but that's what documentation is for and luckily chapters. So hypothetical situation, you want to create a bot that orders ice cream for you. And this bot will only allow three different flavors. So let's go ahead and define our allowed flavors in a list here. It's going to have vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. And keep in mind, we're not going to do all of our type definitions, but don't let that stop you. We'll create a function called order ice cream with a parameter of flavor. That's going to be a type of string. Next, we'll define our assert just to verify flavor is in the allowed flavors. If it's not, then we'll print out Oops, that flavor is not allowed. Finally, we'll print out the F string along with the flavor so that we know that we've reached the end of our function. Now let's just make a call to order ice cream passing the flavor of coffee because we know it's not there. If we output this, we get, oops, that flavor is not allowed because again, coffee's not in our allowed flavors list. Now, if we run this from the terminal, we'll still get the same output that the flavor is not allowed. To get rid of our asserts, all you have to do is just take and add a dash big O to the end of your Python. Then that completely disables your assert. We can verify this by the print statement statement, even though the flavor is still coffee, we made it to our print when the assert should have stopped us. As a bonus, we'll make a time it scenario. So let's switch back to the vanilla original output that we had. And from the time it library, we're going to go ahead and import time it. Now I may be doing this wrong. I am very new to time it, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap my entire code as a string. And that is because I want to pass it to the time it statement. And we're also only going to call this one time. Now, if we run this, we get one of those numbers from math that they said we would need. And to this very day, I am sticking with it. We do not need this number. So let's go back up and define a for loop for I in range of 100 million. Then we'll go ahead and run it again and we get 1.4. Cool. Now, if we run it from the terminal, we also get 1.4. Now, if we run dash O one more time, you'll see that it gives us 0.8. So therefore, the assert was actually cleared out. So there's your answer. If you were to run assert 100 million times with this specific setup, then you would get a grand savings of 0.6 seconds to remove those asserts. Do with this information what you will. But also, since you've made it to the end, why not hit that like and subscribe for more daily content?